Hi everyone, this is Shali Kumar again from OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced OSCE Nurse Trainer for the NMC OSCE Exam in UK and also the Lead Trainer for OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another NMC OSCE video for you. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. So today's video, very interesting one. Everybody wants to hopefully pass the OSCE first time. So today I'm going to tell you what is the smart way of preparing and revising for OSCE okay smart way means we can all work hard but sometimes is is as important to work smart as in as hard okay because hard work doesn't always pay off if you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing exactly but smart way of smart way of working actually gets you there probably with a little bit less hassle stress and make the best use of your time when you revise and then that's how we're going to learn what is the smart way of passing the OSCE first time how do you put these principles in your revision and in your preparation for your OSCE exam to nail this exam pass this exam at first attempt and how you know what can you do about it and also give you some tips like how training uh, provided helps you but mainly how you can apply these principles to your own revision and own preparation so let's have a look so first thing is s so s is smart is what is smart smart is a acronym so uh, it is used in lots of different ways and it does apply to nmc oski as well but it applies to a lot of different ways where we have goals to achieve whether it's exam whether it's something else whether it's a project or whatever we're doing so how do we adapt smart to our oski training uh, sorry or to our oski preparation so s is for specific m is measurable a is achievable R is relevant and T is the time period. So let's have a look. So S is specific. Let's move on to specific. So specific, S is for specific. I would say simple as well. Okay, it's very, very important things are kept simple in your OSCE preparation because if they're not simple, it's a lot of confusion, lot of time wasted, lot of stress you're going to cause yourself. Okay, so simple is the best way to prepare for OSCE and how you can do that know your marking criteria get onto the website for nmc and your test center download the marking criteria download the sporting materials print them there's mock exam their resources list so you know get make sure you know your marking criteria because that has to be specific way of preparing if you just randomly prepare for things how you done it back home it's not going to help you because nmc wants you to do things certain obviously certain ways as set in the marking criteria that's how examiner is marking you so make sure you know your marking criteria practice all stations and scenario don't leave anything to chance any scenario can come for a pie and any skill station can come any professional value and any evidence-based practice topics can come so prepare them all and practice them all try not to use too many different resources you pull something from here then another thing from another video then go and watch another video then another video it's going to be quite very very confusing lot of wastage of time and your effort okay so keep a streamline just go and use the resources which you can trust which you have seen before save them and then go back into them so you are just doing the same revision not confusing yourself with other hundred resources um, know how to do it as well as why to do it because marking criteria tells you what step is in there and what you need to do but why are you doing that? That's the logic behind it. So if you know, do, uh, so that is really important because examiner may ask you additional question. They can see you. It means doing can be copied, but knowing the logic can not be copied. That's your knowledge, okay? So they can ask you additional question to check your knowledge. So it's really important you know why you're doing it, okay? So how do we do that at ONTC? How do we keep it specific and simple for you? I'll give you a few examples. We teach as per the marking, updated marking criteria, which is a recent update happened. So we teach it as up to that. We teach and practice every station, every scenario. Everything is practiced, whether it's your written station, whether it's your verbal station, whether it's your uh, written skills, other skills, all skills, all evidence-based practice, uh, 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 professional values and API scenarios. Everything is taught and uh, revised and practiced. Uh, we also uh, reading materials. Now, let's come to that. And I think that is the biggest reason for our high pass rate success. Why? 
the key is the reading materials the videos the clarity the simplicity of it is simple is clear is easy to follow there is no additional steps added there is no additional verbalization added is as you need to do in the exam okay so that's really important so we keep it confusion free and we also teach you why in our training we constantly mentioning you what is the reason that point is in the marking criteria what's the logic behind it if you have been asked to take the blood sample say for example for your blood glucose from the side of the finger not the fleshy part of the finger what is the logic behind it why are you doing it because you need to know because the examiner may ask you and that would create lot of panic if you don't know the answer and second thing is when you know why it's easy to remember and do an exam rather than doing a rote learning logic is really important it's lifelong learning as well not just for the oski that's how it's done in clinical practice that's why it's done in clinical practice moving on to the next one is the measurable m you preparing for oski uh, you need to measure whether you doing the right thing uh, are you making progress because that's going to give you confidence if you are not measuring yourself you don't know where you stand with your revision and preparation so it's important that you measure your success try to measure your success make uh, mark yourself against the marking criteria you done the station pick up the marking criteria see what you got and what you haven't got and the next time what you didn't get you will try to get those points as well also congratulate yourself tap pat on the back well done because it's important because you want to build confidence you want to feel happy positive okay and another thing is uh, so confidence is the key oski is challenging confidence makes go long way for passing this exam okay as much as knowledge and skill confidence is the key to passing this exam so how do we build that for you in our training so how about do we do we give you multiple opportunities not just the mock exam we practice every single day we have set time in the session for practice we teach you something we practice we teach we practice we teach we practice we can't just keep throwing reading materials on you no 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 we make you practice because the practice is the thing which is going to build your confidence just knowing things just having the knowledge is not going to help you to pass this exam is actually doing those things and seeing your progress so we measuring your progress we making you practice we giving you constant feedback not just only on the mock exam uh, we always giving you feedback on your practice throughout the course and we also make you practice one to one one to one i mean really one to one every station and then uh, all stations and scenarios we practice and then we also um, our feedback is very clear very constructive there is no criticism there is no judgment you can practice in a very safe respectful way uh, but we just give you we tell you what you did right and what you didn't right and how to fix it okay and again you're in very small group so you feel supportive you're only in a group of four we our group size is never more than four okay in a in a in a set room just it's only four of you and with one sometime even less but four of you maximum with one trainer so you got that person's attention all the time and they take turns to take everybody through one to one um uh, practice so you get individual feedback you get every chance to ask questions moving on uh, is uh, again is uh, we give you full ten station mock and we give you written feedback we give you verbal feedback very very clear where to improve and then that's how we build 100% confidence and that's what our nurses say so go and check our google reviews which actually speak for themselves moving on to the next one then uh, uh, achievable how do you make this goal of passing your oski achievable well you set clear goal that's the first thing in your preparation make sure you when you are booking your exam you leaving your inner self self enough time to uh, revise learn revise and practice your station that's really important so timeline for booking exam is really really important don't leave yourself too short on time uh, split your learning in small chunks don't try to do 12 hour a day that's not going to help you okay but that, because that would be really tiring and overwhelming do some study in the morning have a little break then study again study again and 
try to alter your station if you did a pi then just maybe have a break and practice some skills and practice some written stations so that's really important and look after your mental and health mental and physical well-being because you don't want to get ill just before your exam how do we look after how do we achieve that in our training we make sure that every day like i told you has a clear objective how to do things we also make sure our sessions are split so you get time to relax and chat with each other and just you know uh, we don't want to be overwhelmed for you it's a little breaks they are little breaks but they're already built in that timetable for you to have a little bit of rest and reset your mind and you feel your best physically and mentally during the course is our priority because if you are feeling that way you is going to be very productive okay making you tired overwhelmed is not going to achieve anything and how do we achieve a key is the same because our teaching is simple clear straightforward no confusion it means you're happy you enjoy and we teach you why as well the logic and that's why it's so enjoyable at times and our nurses say they really didn't think they will ever ask exam revision preparation and joy and fun doesn't go together but we make it we we make a try our best to make it together so you can learn for the long run and also pass your exam and still enjoy and not be stressed out okay so that's the aim here moving on to the next one r which is relevant how do we keep it relevant we need to keep it relevant because if we don't keep it relevant we're gonna learn not right things and we are not gonna be able to pass our exam so everything anything you say do or write in OSCE has to be relevant to your scenarios and station and also have to be evidence based okay you can't we have can't have a homemade remedies for things okay so anything we write in our interventions or we say to our patients or we do in our station has to be all evidence based and the current practice so that's really important because that is very very big reason for fail in OSCE exam because you might have done things back home differently but things are done very much according to the research and evidence here so you really need to have off uh, you really need to understand that and uh, so if you're not understanding it go and research it if you're doing your preparation yourself um, you need to understand the marking criteria and also why are you doing things again coming back to why we so how do we keep it relevant to your uh, relevant when we do training what does r means for us when you we deliver the oski training we make sure that your learning is all evidence based okay everything you're learning and doing is best practice and we make you relate to the scenarios okay so we tell you why you're doing that for a shortness of breath scenario what is the relevance here because you need to be relevant in your exam if you do things which are against the patient safety for that scenario it would be a critical fail whether he says on the marking criteria or not but it would be a critical fail if you compromise patient safety so we tell you how not to compromise that and make stay safe other thing is our all our trainers are nmc registrants so they're all registered nurses so everything they're teaching you is evidence based you can be ensured you are getting training from the nmc registered nurses with a lot of clinical experience okay so we know how it works in clinically so we are going to teach you the right thing we guarantee you that and then other thing is um Oh, again everything is uh, done by nmc marking criteria we practice very real materials and real scenarios and real equipment there is no shortcuts and also we never run out of resources okay we have enough equipment enough resources enough materials for you to practice as much as you want to do moving on to the last one now the time management now is the key because time is so important in oski to get every station under that time limit is the key to passing without saying you know that already and a lot of nurses struggle with that and that's the biggest challenge sometimes we see in training how do we make you like get that in that time and be comfortable be confident going into that exam so how can you do it you time yourself with the timer when you do practice and it's really important that you put timers on don't leave it to the exam day because it's gonna get very difficult if you don't know how you're progressing and whether you can confidently get that station in that time and that takes lot of practice and keep putting timers again and you really do need to do that for your revision um 
Keep it simple. Stick to the marking criteria. Please don't add extra points for verbalization. You may have seen in another video somewhere on internet or you may have seen in somebody, some friend telling you or clique telling you. No. Stick to the marking criteria. Keep it simple, okay? Because if you add extra things, you are not going to be able to manage that time. Uh, so and also uh, make sure you practice practice and practice you may not get the time in first two three four five practices but I promise you if you keep practicing you will get better at it because you will remember your marking criteria better you will remember your steps back then when we know it better we get quicker so you will get it so just keep going keep going even though it can be quite frustrating sometimes but keep going is the key practice makes you perfect how do we build that time management in our training here we go we do time practice for all stations we put the timer on for your practice even if you haven't finished that uh, within that time we actually let you finish the station because you still need to show us how you will do the station but we tell you how much extra time it took you so next time when you do again we put the timer on you get better again when you do it you get better so we do it the same way like i'm asking you to do it for yourself so we 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 make sure our uh, practice is timed our mock exams are timed as well as in your real exam okay same thing make sure you practice well we already said that that we're doing that uh, we have time practice session we have time mock exam we make sure you practice in real time so if you in a station you should be putting gloves and apron on we don't say just assume you have put them on no we make you put them on because you need to build that in your practice because it can take 30 seconds to put gloves and apron off 30 seconds to take or take them off so if you haven't done it that way you're gonna be short in time when you do in real practice in real exam so when you do real performance in real exam so we make you practice as you would do in your exam no shortcuts uh, and because our materials and our uh, reading materials and our videos and everything we say or do is very simple there is no there is no room for confusion there is no time wasting going on at all you make the most of your training days most of the material most of your revision when we ask you to revise because it's very clear and simple and also we also give you top tips because there's so many things in exam which you can multitask where you can shorten the verbalization we give you all those tips so you we want to make sure that you pass this exam first time so it's our responsibility to make sure you can manage your time okay and we teach you that we give you all the top tips for every single station how to manage the time in that particular station what you can multitask what you can shorten in verbalization where you adding more you don't need to so we pick up on all those things and make you perfect by the time you go to your exam so hopefully all these tips are going to help you to revise and practice in your to get the first time pass okay and if you're coming to our training you have a bit idea how we achieve that way how we do this smart way okay and you can do smart way and we do a smart way as well so uh, hopefully all that is going to help so i hope you like the video so please press and like and subscribe and you can visit us on oskinnurstraining.com or uh, email us on oskinnurstraining at outlook.com i will soon be back with another video for you bye for